What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. Tonight I'm going to show you guys how to auto mount a drive in Linux. So per my particular setup here at home, I have three external hard drives. One uh, you can see right here. This is a uh, USB powered Go drive. So as long as that's connected to a USB port when I boot my computer, because it's USB powered, it's automatically going to mount that drive. So I don't have to worry about that. I do have a 320 gigabyte uh, Seagate drive, uh, external hard drive, that uh, does need to be mounted um, simply by opening up Nemo and selecting it here under devices will actually um, mount that for me. Um, but if I want something auto mounted, for instance I have this drive here that's uh, titled storage, that's a one terabyte Seagate 7200 RPM uh, spinning drive that does not automatically mount when my system starts, uh, I want that uh, to mount. One of the main reasons being um, my Samba server at home, uh, I have two directories that I share off of that, and my music, um, my music library is directly imported from that particular drive. I don't keep it on the SSD. I like to keep the SSD as uh, empty as possible. Um, so I want that to mount. So if I want to listen to music, I don't have to mount the drive prior. Or if I want to access my Samba share, I don't have to mount the drive prior. So I'm going to show you guys the easiest method, in my opinion, on how to accomplish that. So what we're going to want to do is go into your file manager. In this case, I'm in Linux Mint 16. We're going to open up Nemo and select the drive, and it's automatically going to mount it. We see here that it's showing up on the desktop. We're going to open up a second terminal, and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do here. So let's, uh, let's zoom in, and we're going to type cat proc mounts. Now as you can see if we look down all the way down at the bottom we see forward slash dev forward slash sdc sdc1 and that's mounted to forward slash media lu go drive okay that's my 500 megabyte usb powered go drive again we don't have to worry about that because um it's usb powered and it's going to automatically mount every time the computer boots but the line directly underneath it forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 that is my uh, one terabyte drive. That's the one that we want to auto mount. So we need to import some of this information into our fstab file in order for it to auto mount when our system starts. So you may be wondering what information do we need to actually import? Well, if when we cat out the forward slash proc forward slash mounts uh, directory, this is going to give us all the information we need. It's going to make it very, very easy. So we're going to zoom back out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. We're going to copy this line right here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to type, zoom back in for you here. We're going to type sudo gedit etsy fstab. All right, so here's our fstab file. Now what we need to do is we need to make an entry for this particular drive. So we're going to do hash. I'm going to call this storage. And then we're just going to paste in what we copied out of our terminal. The only thing I'm going to change here is this rel time option. We're going to change this to no a time. Now, if you noticed, whoops, uh, let's see here. If you noticed here, my uh, Go Drive also has the rail time option. If I wanted no wait time, it to mount with no wait time, I could make another entry here. Um, but because I don't have this, I'm not reading off of this drive all the time. Uh, that's not really important. Um, but if you wanted it to mount with a certain option, you can actually change that here as well. So all I did was change no A time, I'm sorry, rail time to no A time. And that's pretty much it. All you've got to do now is save. And when my computer reboots, it will actually auto mount that drive with all of those particular options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to reboot my system and we're going to see if the change that we just did took effect. I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I just rebooted my system. And as you can see here on my desktop, my storage drive, uh, my one terabyte Seagate uh, storage drive has mounted. Let's open up Nemo. We can see here that uh, the drive is in fact mounted. Everything's accessible. 
and that's it. It's that simple. So the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it again in review, um, go ahead and mount that drive. And then what you're going to do is just open up a terminal and type in cat proc mounts. This is going to give you all of your different mounts and all the different options that your uh, that particular drive is mounted with. All you've got to do is then just copy and paste this. Go into your um, Etsy fstab file here. You can add a new entry. Just type hash and then give it any description you want. Start a new line. Copy and paste that in. As you can see, I've replaced rel time, which is what it originally was mounting with that particular option with no wait time. If you want to know what that is, do a simple Google search on that. Um, but now that particular drive automatically mounts every time my computer starts. So that is how you auto mount a drive in Linux. Hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, share it on Google Plus. If you like this kind of content and tutorials and how to's, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future content. As always, thanks guys, and we'll catch you later.